So hello everyone, um, this is at work from HAXL. So in this video, I'm going to review the 10 questions that you must know for um, 2017 mock exam, okay? So for a math higher level. So basically in this video, I've selected like 10 random questions for you to prepare the exam, okay? So I hope in this um, video, it will help you to um, grasp most of the concept for um, the six topics, okay? The six core topics. So we can start now. So first question will be on functions, okay? But it will be on the graph. So most of students find this uh, kind of confusing. So given the graph above, um, solve h of f x equal to six. So how do you solve this? So most of the student will just draw a line from uh, six, okay? So it's four, it's eight, and this one will be six, right? So I draw a line right here, okay? And they will just write like zero and then five, a uh, zero and then six, but that's wrong. Why is that? Because this is actually h x, right? So you want to find out like h of fx. So how do you do that? So h is outside the function and fx is inside, right? So fx can be equal to how many? You know that this one is hx, right? The x value can be 0 or 6. So you know that fx can be equal to 0 or 6, right? And what you do the next step is make fx equal to 0. Then you can find out the x value, okay? So this one is minus two and eight, right? So x is equal to minus two, eight, or six. So you draw a line from here, and then you look at the affix graph. This is two and then four, okay? So we got two and four. So this is kind of tricky. So make sure you understand this type of question. So first, you think of the outside function, which is hx, and then you know that inside that, the value would be equal to affix, and then you use affix to trace the x value. So that's why you have four answers, okay? So next question. So next question is um, typical uh, mathematical induction question. So they'll ask you to find out like this, um, it's a multiple of seven. So you should remember for induction, always three steps, right? So n equals to one, we sub in n equals to one. Left hand side, is it divisible by seven, right? So we can try this on. So uh, one plus two plus three, and then two times one plus one, right? So that will be two power three, which is equal to eight, plus three, and then power of three, so which is 27. 27 plus eight, so how many is it? So that will be 35, right? 35, obviously, divisible by seven, right? Okay, so then we assume n equals to k. Um, 2k plus two plus three, 2k plus one, okay? Is seven a divisible by seven. So what does it mean? So it's the multiple of seven. A can be any number, let's say two and three, yeah? And then so on. So we assume this one applies for this one. And then we want to try like if k plus one, I sub back into the equation, would that be a multiple of seven, right? Yeah, so then now we can sub back in. Um, two, k plus one, k plus one plus two, and then plus three, two times k plus one plus one, yeah? Then we have um, two, k plus um, three, plus three, and then two k plus two, plus one, so plus three, yeah? And what you do next is to substitute um, this whole thing back into the equation right here. To, you want to prove that it's divisible by seven, right? So like finally you can take out the seven as a factor. So how do you do that? So first we know that like this one, seven a minus three, two k plus one is equal to two k plus two, right? Yeah, so I try to sub this back into the equation right here. So 2k plus 3 is 2k plus 2 plus 1 plus 3, 2k plus 3, right? So 2k plus 2, this whole thing is replaced by 7a minus 3, 2k plus 1. But the whole thing will multiply by 2 because you know that plus 1 is times 2 power 1, right? And then plus 3, 2k plus 3. And, and then you multiply the 2 in. So 14a minus 3, 2k plus 1 and then times two. So don't multiply the two with the three because there's a power right here. Plus three, two K plus three. And then what you do next is to take out the common factor. The common factor is three, two K plus one and three, two K plus one, right? Okay, then you only have two left and here is a negative sign because you take out negative. Negative multiply negative becomes positive, right? And you only have three power two left. Do you get that? Because three, two K plus one plus two then you have three, right? So you only have three power two left. So 14a minus three, two k plus one times negative seven. Do you get that? So basically this, you can take out the common factor 
uh, of 7, right? So which is divisible by 7. And that's it for the mathematical induction. Okay, next page. So next page um, is the complex number, right? So one question. So given that b is equal to root 3 plus i and c is equal to minus 1 plus i, right? Express b and c in the modulus argument form. So what does it mean? So that means you need to have the theta, right? Yeah? So um, cosine theta plus i sine theta, right? So first, um, the imaginary part and real part so there's root 3 and then 1, right? So what you do, to, the first thing is to find out the magnitude, right? So the modulus, so which is root 3 square plus 1 square and then square root, right? R is equal to this, so that is 2, yeah? So it's 2 times cosine theta plus I sine, oh yeah, the theta right here would be equal to how many? So the special angle, right? This is 1, this is root 3, Special angle, 2, 2, 2 triangle, this is 1 and root 3. This is um, 30 degree and this is 60, yeah? Which is pi over 6, 1 over root 3. 1 over 3, pi over 6, yeah? Plus i sine pi over 6, that's it, yeah? Okay, and then for c, for c is minus 1. Minus 1 to 1 right here, so obviously this is 1 and one and one right here, this is 45 degree, which is pi over four, right? So pi over four. So one square, one square plus one square, and then square root, square root two, cos, and uh, which is pi over four, plus sine pi over four. That's it, yeah, easy. And then find b times c square, right? So b times c square, um, b two. So, root 3 plus i times minus 1 plus i squared, right? So we can expand all this. Root 3 plus i, and then a squared plus 2ab plus b squared, 1 uh, plus 2, uh, minus 2i, and then plus i squared, yeah? Root 3 plus i, and then 1 minus 2i minus 1. So 1 minus 1 cancel out, minus 2i, and then you can multiply in. So minus 2 root 3i, and then this is minus 2 i squared. So minus 2 i squared plus 2. Yeah, that's it. And then for 5c, represent b as a point b and point c on the Argon diagram, which is right here. So we have done it. Okay, do you get this? So we have done c already. And b is rotate through 2 pi over 3 clockwise, clockwise through the origin, right? Uh, and c is rotate like 5 pi over 4 anti clockwise. And uh, find the area of the O, B prime and C prime, yeah? So first of all, you need to know like uh, where the points go. So for here, B will go like 2 pi over 3 um, plot-wise, okay? So what do you do? So I know that here already like occupy pi over 6, so you know that like 2 pi over 3 minus pi over 6 first. So we want to see the change, yeah? So, uh, you know that when b goes to here, and then how much will it go, right? So this is like multiplied by 2, and then this one before 3 pi over 6, which is pi over 2. So know that the b point after go to here will go pi over 2. So it will be right here, this is b prime, yeah? So, and the modulus obviously doesn't change because this is 2, yeah? And then, how about the C? The C go anti-clockwise by 5 pi over 4, right? So this is pi over 4 already. So that means 5 pi over 4 minus pi over 4. Then we get like 4 pi over 4, which is pi. So you know that after it goes to here, and then we'll go pi, okay, to here. So, and this one will be C prime, yeah? So what kind of triangle will it form? A right angle triangle. So base times, base times height divided by 2, right? So um, here is root 2, okay, because the magnitude, root 2. And then the height here, which is the magnitude right here, which is 2, yeah? So base times height divided by 2, which is root 2. So the triangle will be just root 2, that's it. And given that B, C um, are the root of Z4 plus P, Z3 plus Q, Z2 plus R, Z plus S equal to 0, so find um, P, Q, R, S, right? So what you do is that I know that the 
root okay, of the complex number. So you know that b is root 3 plus i, and then c is minus 1 plus i, right? Okay, so basically, all the complex number, we have conjugate roots. So, we'll do like that. So minus 1 minus i, yeah? Okay, so then uh, simply, so you just need to um, make it like z minus root 3 and then minus i. So it's just like if I give you the root is equal to 4, right? x equals to 4. You can change it back into the equation by x minus 4, right? So this one is the same thing. So z minus root 3 minus i times z minus root 3 plus i times z plus 1 minus uh, i and then z um, plus 1 plus i and simply you just need to expand all this and then you can match the pqrs right okay so i'll teach you how to do this okay so basically your approach um, of expanding this one will be doing the first two and doing the last two right and then after that you have two equation with z square right and then you expand all that okay but i will just save time for you so basically you just need to do it on your own and then check the answer so um, the answer would be z4 um, plus z3 and then 2 minus 2 root 3 so p values this okay and then plus z2 6 minus 4 root 3 yeah and then plus z8 minus 4 root 3 and then plus 8 okay so I want to save time so because you can do it on your own you, you don't need to watch the video uh, to like learn how to expand right so just need to do it this two bracket first and then the other two bracket yeah and then you multiply all that yeah it takes time and then finally you get this answer you take out the common factor and simplify all that okay so and then now we move on to the next question